Hello friends, today it's Debbie Sayer here to share with you how I created this triple easel card using Heartfelt Creations new Blazing Poppy collection. A triple easel card is simple to make. You start with um, three pieces of paper. The first one is four and a half by nine, scored at four and a half, and um, fold it. Your second piece is going to be four by eight, so you score it at four and fold it two. And then your third piece of cardstock is going to be three and a half by seven. So that means you need three sheets of paper. Um, I used a 12 by 12. I think I got all three pieces from it. The last piece is three and a half by seven, scored at three and a half, and then go ahead and fold it. Um, you're going to use um, whatever shape you decide. You can use circles, scallop circles, hearts, squares. You could use any um, shape you want, but you need three dies. I'm using the big scalloped circles, large and small set from Spellbinders to create my shaped cards to glue together for this triple easel card. So I'm going to use the large on the largest card. I'm going to use the largest which is in the big scallop circles large set. I'm going to um, scoot my die down just so there's a small little spot that's not cut through and that will create my shaped card for the largest easel part of this tri triple easel card. I'm using some um, low tack scotch tape like repositionable tape. Now I'm using the largest in the big scallop circle small set for my next, for the middle size of the easel car, part of the easel card. Um, the Scotch repositionable tape is available at most um, business supply stores. And now I'm using the second to the largest piece um, die from the Big Scalp Circles large set. So I use two dies from the large set and one die from the small set. But like I said, you can use any shape you want, squares, circles, hearts, whatever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and die cut those, and now I'm going to remove them from the die. I kind of speeded it up a little bit so it wouldn't be such a long video. So you can see how the, um, the pieces are all shaped cards in the three sizes. So now I'm going to pull out my um, score pal, but you don't really need to. Um, once I pulled it out, I kind of thought, well, I don't really need to do that. But see the three different sizes? Now you fold the top piece to create the easel for on each card. You can use your bone folder to make it a crisp fold. Um, I just think it's easier to eyeball it um, so that you fold them pretty much the same for the whole card. So just fold it down and just like that. Okay, using the same dies that I used to make the bases, um, I also cut one more um, scallop circle. So now I'm going to use score tape and I'm going to start gluing my easel portion together. I'm just kind of trying to decide how far apart I want my pieces. Um, I find score tape works the best to hold it together because it gets kind of heavy once you start putting your flowers and stuff on it. Um, whenever I use score tape, I always use a bone folder to burnish it into place. Sometimes I have issues with it kind of popping up when I bring the liner off. Now I'm just going to kind of line it up and make sure it's straight. Um, wherever you put Wherever you're going to put this card, that's going to be um, the stopper for the next for the card behind it. So um, that's the part that creates your easel. So I'm going to burnish that again, and then I'm going to um, glue that into place. I'm just trying to. I'm not using it as a guide so much as trying to just make sure that it's straight. So there's my triple easel card, the bare bones of it. And here's the three um, scalloped circles that I cut to make for your, um, to put on your easels. So I'm going to use score tape on those two. Um, I find it easier to um, 
put the score tape on the base than to put the score tape on the, the actual circle itself. Like I said, score tape works best, especially when you're using something that's, um, you're going to make, you know, flowers and stuff and you're really going to decorate it. So I like to make sure that my card can be folded down too, because if you want to send it to somebody, unless you're going to put it in a box, you're going to need to fold it down just a little bit to try to get it to where it needs to go. So here's my second one. I just make sure that the scallops line up perfectly. Can't even tell it's an extra piece once you put it on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then just go ahead and burnish it. Now, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start cutting out my blazing poppies. Here's what I'm using is the blazing poppy petals. And I'm going to um, stamp them on some pattern paper from the collection. I like that dark color. I'm stamping it, I'm stamping the ink on the actual. Um, stamp. It's Espresso Truffle Memento ink and I'm just um, stamping it out. Now see this part works best for me. Um, I stamp them and then I cut the pieces apart so that I can die cut them and run them through. And then um, I'll show you how I what else I do later. I have a couple little tricks for you too. So now I'm going to cut these apart. Okay, so I know you're thinking to yourself, this is going to cut out a lot of flowers and I might not use them all. And that's true. And what I would highly recommend is taking a little, I just use a snack Ziploc bag and I put those with my paper collection so that next time I want to make a card, I might have enough flowers and not need to stamp anymore or even die cut them. This stamp and die fit easily together. There's All you have to do is eyeball it, tape it down with your repositionable tape, and die cut it. Um, no special templates you have to make or anything like that. It's so easy and it's, it's a really, really... Um, fantastic way to make flowers. So um, I ended up doing that six times just so I would have plenty of flowers because I didn't know exactly how many flowers I was going to use to decorate my easel card. So to create my flowers um, I used two methods. Um, they both start out with spritzing your paper front and back with water um, and I'm using the Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit from Heartfelt Creations. I'm just using one of the smaller, um, the smaller, one of the smaller tips. Here it is a little closer. And I'm just tapping around the edge of the flower while it's really wet. And the longer it sits there, the more it's going to dry just a little bit. And if you do this while it's too wet, it is going to tear. So um, just kind of use, you know, a light hand and go back over and around it a couple of times if you have to. Just be careful not to tear your paper. So like I said, I'm just using like a tapping motion. And now that they're a little more dry, I'm going to use the bigger um, end and I'm going to um, just kind of bring it to the middle there. This is one of the ways that I use to um, shape these flowers. I'll show you another flower that I did too. Okay, so I decided I wanted to use three for my flowers. Um, two works really well on the big ones too. So here's my Art Institute Dries Clear Glue. Love this stuff. And just kind of tap it into place and do that for the third one too.
Now I'm going to show you a flower that I made where I shaped the petals with a jewelry a set of jewelry pliers. While it was still wet, I just used my jewelry pliers and just kind of went around it just like I'm showing you right there to kind of give a little rumpled look. And then I put um, some like iridescent brown seed beads in the middle um, using that same glue. We're really lucky to have a really nice um, bead store not too far from my house. So um, I love their little seed beads. They're really pretty. Um, and that's how I did all the, all the flowers. I either used that method or I used the jewelry pliers. Now it's time to decorate the um, triple easel card. And the first thing you're going to do is decorate the um, base of the first easel because that is going to show and I think it would just look better if you it just looks better because you have to put a little like stopper there so that easel will prop up just the way it should. I'm going to go ahead and put um, I cut these out with the corresponding uh, classic circles from Spellbinders and I'm just gluing everything together with my Art Institute dries clear glue. Now see that first one doesn't have a little um, stopper so I'm using a piece from one of the um, the papers from the uh, from the Blazing Poppy collection and I'm going to pop it up on um, pop dots or 3D foam squares so that it um, can give a little support to the first easel. And I'm going to kind of bring it forward. It's okay if it hangs off just a little bit. And now I've kind of decided where I'm going to put all my flowers and how it's going to look. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put everything down on my triple easel card. I used the um, Delightful Daisies, um, the leaves from the Delightful Daisies set and the Delightful Daisy die to cut them out for the flowers on this Blazing Poppy triple easel card. Um, here's some small little flowers that I did um, using the same method I already just showed you with the, that middle size flower. And one of the best things I think about the um, using a liquid adhesive is it can be easier to like move things around a little bit. You can't move it indefinitely but you can move things around a little bit. So I'm going to move on to the second one. I cut a tag from the um, Blazing Poppy collection and I'm going to um, put it on using some pop dots too after I put my leaves on. Here's my flower. I showed you that I use, that's the one I used the jewelry pliers on. Um, and then I'm going to put my little tag and I put some little twine in there to stick up. Um, I just think that that collection is just full of beautiful, beautiful uh, embellishing items um, that you can cut out for your, your cards and stuff. And I was thinking about putting the birthday wish, but I decided on the other. Um, I just cut it out and I used my bone folder to give it a little dimension and I just glued it into place. So now I'm going to do the, um, the back one. And I used a, the large flower for that. Um, and then in just a second, I'm going to show you the whole completed thing. Um, I love this collection because of the colors. I think they're beautiful. I also think that um, since I'm the type of person who loves a little matchy matchy, um, this is perfect. I found some rust uh, satin ribbon in my stash. It's probably from really reasonable ribbon because that's where I get everything. And that's it. Anybody would love to get this triple easel card, especially using the papers from and the the dies and stamps from the Blazing Poppy collection. I hope you give this a try. Um, I just used some a 12 by 12 sheet of plain brown uh, cardstock from DCMV. Um, 
oh, I'm sorry, DCWV die cuts with a view. Um, I love their uh, 12 by 12 papers. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.